What is a mermaid's purse? Mermaids' purses are the protective cases in which the eggs of dogfish, skates, and rays are released into the environment. The rectangular purse is leathery and has long tendrils streaming from each corner. The tendrils anchor the case to seaweed or rocks and protect the embryos during the six to nine months it takes for them to hatch. Empty cases often wash up on beaches. What is a mermaid's purse? Mermaids' purses are the protective cases in which the eggs of dogfish, skates, and rays are released into the environment. The rectangular purse is leathery and has long tendrils streaming from each corner. The tendrils anchor the case to seaweed or rocks and protect the embryos during the six to nine months it takes for them to hatch. Empty cases often wash up on beaches. Has the United States selected a national insect? No, the United States does not have a national insect. Congress did consider naming the monarch butterfly as the national insect. But the legislation did not pass. When was the first zoo in the United States established? The Philadelphia Zoological Garden, chartered in 1859, was the first zoo in the United States. The zoo was delayed by the Civil War. Financial difficulties, and restrictions on transporting wild animals. It opened in 1874 on 33 acres, 13 hectares, and 282 animals were exhibited. How many species of insects are there? Estimates of the number of recognized insect species range from about 750. 000 to upward of 1 million but some experts think that this represents less than half of the number that exists in the world. About 7,000 new insect species are described each year. But unknown numbers are lost annually from the destruction of their habitats, mainly tropical forests. How can animals be grouped according to body symmetry? Symmetry refers to the arrangement of body structures in relation to the axis of the body. Most animals exhibit either radial or bilateral body symmetry. Animals such as jellyfishes, sea anemones, and starfishes have radial symmetry. In radial symmetry the body has the general form of a wheel or cylinder and similar structures are arranged as spokes from a central axis. 
the bodies of all other animals are marked by bilateral symmetry. A design in which the body has right and left halves that are mirror images of each other. A bilaterally symmetrical body plan has a top and a bottom. Also known respectively as the dorsal and ventral portions of the body. It also has a front, or anterior, end and a back, or posterior, end. How does a butterfly differ from a moth? While these guidelines generally hold true, there are exceptions. Moths have hairy bodies, and most have tiny hooks or bristles linking the forewing to the hindwing. Butterflies do not have either characteristic. What are killer bees? Africanized honeybees the term entomologists prefer rather than killer bees are a hybrid originating in Brazil. Where African honeybees were imported in 1956. The breeders. Hoping to produce a bee better suited to producing more honey in the tropics. Instead found that African bees soon hybridized with and mostly displaced the familiar European honeybees. Although they produce more honey, Africanized honeybees, Apis mellifer scutellata, also are more dangerous than European bees because they attack intruders in greater numbers. Since their introduction, they have been responsible for approximately 1,000 human deaths. In addition to such safety issues, Concern is growing regarding the effect of possible hybridization on the U.S. beekeeping industry. In October 1990, the bees crossed the Mexican border into the United States. They reached Arizona in 1993. In 1996, six years after their arrival in the United States, Africanized honeybees could be found in parts of Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, and California. As of 2009, Africanized honeybees are also found in Nevada, Utah, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana. Their migration northward has slowed partially because they are a tropical insect and cannot live in colder climates. Experts have suggested two possible ways of limiting the spread of the Africanized honeybees. The first is drone flooding, a process by which large numbers of European drones are kept in areas where commercially reared European queen bees mate, thereby ensuring that only limited mating occurs between Africanized drones and European queens. The second method is frequent requeening, in which a beekeeper replaces a colony's queen with one of his or her own choosing. The beekeeper can then be assured that the queens are European and that they have already mated with European drones. How much weight can an ant carry? Ants are the super weight lifters of the animal kingdom. They are strong in relation to their size and can carry objects 10 to 20 times. 
their own weight some species can carry objects up to 50 times their own weight. Ants are able to carry these objects great distances and even climb trees while carrying them. This is comparable to a 100 pound person picking up a small car. Carrying it 7 to 8 miles on his back and then climbing the tallest mountain while still carrying the car. What are the major characteristics of all chordates? All chordates share a noto cord, dorsal nerve cord, and pharyngeal gill pouches. The noto cord, a cartilaginous supporting rod, runs along the dorsal part of the body. It is always found in embryos, but in most vertebrates it is replaced. During development by a backbone of bony or cartilaginous vertebrae. The tubular dorsal nerve cord, dorsal to the noto cord, is formed during development by an enfolding of the ectoderm. In vertebrates the nerve cord eventually becomes encased and thus protected by the backbone. The pharyngeal gill pouches appear during embryonic development on both sides of the throat region, the pharynx. What invertebrate lives in both marine and fresh waters and is one of the most important of all animals? Copepods, tiny crustaceans, are the link between the photosynthetic life in the ocean or pond and the rest of the aquatic food web. They are primary consumers grazing on algae in the waters of the oceans and ponds. These organisms, among the most abundant multicellular animals on Earth, are then consumed by a variety of small predators, which are eaten by larger predators, and so on. Virtually all animal life in the ocean depends on the copepods, either directly or indirectly. Although humans do not eat copepods directly, our sources of food from the ocean would disappear without the copepods. How many tentacles do the cephalopods have? Octopods have eight tentacles or arms, squids have ten tentacles. And there are as many as ninety in the chambered nautilus. What has been the impact of zebra mussels on North American waterways? Zebra mussels, Dryasina polymorpha, are black and white striped bivalve mollusks. They are hard-shelled species that adhere to hard surfaces with bissel threads. They were probably introduced to North America in 1985 or 1986 via a discharge of a foreign ship's ballast water into Lake St. Clair. They have spread throughout the Great Lakes, the Mississippi River, and as far east as the Hudson River. High densities of zebra mussels have been found in the intakes, pipes, and heat exchangers of waterways throughout the world. 
They can clog the water intakes of power plants, industrial sites, and public drinking water systems. Foul boat hulls and engine cooling water systems. And disrupt aquatic ecosystems. Water processing facilities must be cleaned manually to rid the systems of the mussels. Zebra mussels are a threat to surface water resources because they reproduce quickly. Have free swimming larvae and rapid growth, lack competitors for space or food, and have no predators. What is the largest invertebrate? The largest invertebrate is the giant squid, Archytothes ducks, which averages 30 to 53 feet, 9 to 16 meters, in length including its tentacles. It may reach a length of 69 feet, 21 meters. These animals have the largest eyes, up to 10 inches, 25 centimeters, in diameter, in the animal kingdom. It is believed that they generally live on or near the ocean bottom at a depth of 3,281 feet. 1,000 meters, or slightly more than a half mile below the surface of the sea. Standard reference work throughout Europe in the 16th and 17th centuries. How are pearls created? Pearls are formed in saltwater oysters and freshwater clams. There is a curtain-like tissue called the mantle within the body of these mollusks. Certain cells on the side of the mantle toward the shell secrete nacre. Also known as mother of pearl, during a specific stage of the shell building process. A pearl is the result of an oyster's reaction to a foreign body. Such as a piece of sand or a parasite, within the oyster's shell. The oyster neutralizes the invader by secreting thin layers of nacre around the foreign body eventually building it into a pearl. The thin layers are alternately composed of calcium carbonate, argonite, and conchylin. Irritants intentionally placed within an oyster result. In the production of what are called cultured pearls. Do butterflies see color? Butterflies have highly developed sensory capabilities. They have the widest visual spectrum of any animal and are able to see from the red end of the spectrum all the way to near ultraviolet. They are therefore able to distinguish colors that humans are unable to see. How do fleas jump so far? The jumping power of fleas comes both from strong leg muscles and from pads of a rubber-like protein called rhizylin. The rhizylin is located above the flea's hind legs. To jump, the flea crouches, squeezing the rhizylin, and then it relaxes certain muscles. 
stored energy from the Rosilin works like a spring, launching the flea. A flea can jump well both vertically and horizontally. Some species can jump 150 times their own length. To match that record, a human would have to spring over the length of two and a quarter football fields or the height of a 100-story building in a single bound. The common flea, Pulex irritans, has been known to jump 13 inches. 33 centimeters, in length and 7.25 inches, 18.4 centimeters, in height. How long does it take the average spider to weave a complete web? The average orb weaver spider takes 30 to 60 minutes to completely spin its web. These species of spiders, order Araneae, use silk to capture their food in a variety of ways. Ranging from the simple trip wires used by large bird eating spiders to the complicated and beautiful webs spun by orb spiders. Some species produce funnel shaped webs, and other communities of spiders build communal webs. A completed web features several spokes leading from the initial structure. The number and nature of the spokes depend on the species. The spider replaces any damaged threads by gathering up the thread in front of it and producing a new one behind it. The orb web must be replaced every few days because it loses its stickiness and its ability to entrap food. How many different animals are there? Biologists have described and named more than one million species of animals. And some biologists believe that there are several million more species that remain to be discovered, classified, and named. How has flight contributed to the success of insects? Flight is one key to the great success of insects. An animal that can fly can escape many predators, find food, and mates. And disperse to new habitats much faster than an animal that must crawl about on the ground. Why are arthropods considered the most biologically successful phylum of animals? Members of the phylum Arthropoda are characterized by jointed appendages and an exoskeleton of chitin. There are more than one million species of arthropods currently known to science. And many biologists believe there are millions more to be identified. Arthropods are the most biologically successful group of animals because they are the most diverse and live in a greater range of habitats than do the members of any other phylum of animals. What are the main characteristics of animals?
Animals are a very diverse group of organisms, but all of them share a number of characteristics. Animals are multicellular eukaryotes that are heterotrophic, ingesting and digesting food inside the body. Animal cells lack the cell walls that provide support in the bodies of plants and fungi. Most animals have muscle systems and nervous systems. Responsible for movement and rapid response to stimuli in their environment. In addition, most animals reproduce sexually with the diploid stage dominating the life cycle. In most species a large, nonmodal egg is fertilized by a small, flagellated sperm, thus forming a diploid zygote. The transformation of a zygote to an animal of a specific form depends on the controlled expression in the developing embryo of special regulatory genes. How many eggs does a spider lay? The number of eggs varies according to the species. Some larger spiders lay over 2,000 eggs. But many tiny spiders lay one or two and perhaps no more than a dozen during their lifetime. Spiders of average size probably lay a hundred or so. Most spiders lay all their eggs at one time and enclose them in a single egg sac. Others lay eggs over a period of time and enclose them in a number of egg sacs. What are the largest and smallest aerial spider webs? The largest aerial webs are spun by the tropical orb weavers of the genus Nephila, which produce webs that measure up to 18.9 feet, 6 meters, in circumference. The smallest webs are produced by the species Glyphosis cottony. Their webs cover an area of about 0.75 square inch, 4.84 square centimeters. What is a mermaid's purse? Mermaid's purses are the protective cases in which the eggs of dogfish, skates, and rays are released into the environment. The rectangular purse is leathery and has long tendrils streaming from each corner. The tendrils anchor the case to seaweed or rocks and protect the embryos during the six to nine months it takes for them to hatch. Empty cases often wash up on beaches. Are freshwater clams an endangered group? Although freshwater clams are found on every continent except Antarctica, they are now considered one of the most jeopardized groups of animals in the world. Approximately 270 species belong to the family Unionidae, found in North America. A total of 72% of our 270 native mussel species are listed as recently extinct. Endangered, threatened, or of special concern due to human impact on aquatic habitat, commercial harvesting.
the introduction of carp, water pollution, and the invasion of zebra mussels. What is the secret of bonsai, the Japanese art of growing dwarf trees? These miniature trees with tiny leaves and twisted trunks can be centuries old. To inhibit growth of the plants, they have been carefully deprived of nutrients. Pruned of their fastest growing shoots and buds, and kept in small pots to reduce the root systems. Selective pruning. Pinching out terminal buds, and wiring techniques are devices used to control the shape of the trees. Bonsai possibly started during the Zhou Dynasty, 900 to 250 BCE, in China. When emperors made miniature gardens that were dwarf representations of the provincial lands that they ruled. Who discovered the dance of the bees? In 1943, Carl von Frisch. 1886 to 1982, published his study on the dance of the bees. It is a precise pattern of movements performed by returning forager, worker. Honeybees in order to communicate the direction and distance of a food source to the other workers in the hive. The dance is performed on the vertical surface of the hive and two kinds of dances have been recognized. The round dance, performed when food is nearby, and the waggle dance, done when food is farther away. How many flowers need to be tapped for bees to gather enough nectar to produce one pound of honey? Bees must gather 4 pounds, 1.8 grams, of nectar, which requires the bees to tap about 2 million flowers, in order to produce 1 pound, 454 grams, of honey. The honey is gathered by worker bees, whose lifespan is 3 to 6 weeks. Long enough to collect about a teaspoon of nectar. Which mollusks produce the most cultured pearls? Cultured pearls are produced by both freshwater and marine mollusks. Most of the world's cultured pearls, known as freshwater pearls, are produced by freshwater mussels belonging to the family Unionity. Most saltwater pearls are produced by three species of oysters belonging to the genus Pinctida. Including Pinctida imbricata, Pinctida maxima, and Pinctida margaritifer. What is the difference between an invertebrate and a vertebrate? Invertebrates are animals that lack a backbone. Almost all animals, 99%, are invertebrates. Of the more than 1 million identified animals, only 52,000 have a vertebral column, these are referred to as vertebrates. 
most biologists believe the millions of species that have yet to be discovered are exclusively invertebrates. Why do some biologists consider the insects the most successful group of animals? With more than one million described species, and perhaps millions more not yet identified. Class Insecta is the most successful group of animals on Earth in terms of diversity. Geographic distribution, number of species, and number of individuals. More species of insects have been identified than of all other groups of animals combined. What insects lack in size, they make up for in sheer numbers. If we could weigh all the insects in the world, their weight would exceed that of all the remaining terrestrial animals. About 200 million insects are alive at any one time for each human. Are spiders really dangerous? Most spiders are harmless organisms that, rather than being dangerous to humans, are actually allies in the continuing battle to control insects. Most venom produced by spiders to kill prey is usually harmless to humans. However, there are two spiders in the United States that can produce severe or even fatal bites. They are the black widow spider, Latrodectus mactans, and the brown recluse spider, Loxocells reclusa. Black widows are shiny black, with a bright red hourglass on the underside of the abdomen. The venom of the black widow is neurotoxic and affects the nervous system. About 4 out of 1,000 black widow bites have been reported as fatal. Brown recluse spiders have a violin shaped strip on their back. How are animals classified? Animals belong to the kingdom Animalia. Most biologists divide the kingdom into two sub-kingdoms, one, Parazoa. From the Greek para, meaning alongside, and zoa, meaning animal, and two, Eumatozoa. From the Greek EU, meaning true, meta, meaning later, and zoa, meaning animal. The only existing animals classified as parazoa are the sponges, phylum porifera. Sponges are very different from other animals and function much like colonial. Unicellular protozoa, even though they are multicellular. Cells of sponges can be versatile and change form and function and are not organized into tissues and organs. They also lack symmetry. All other animals have true tissues, are symmetrical, and are classified as eumatozoa. Who is the father of zoology? Aristotle, 384-322 b. C. is considered the father of zoology. 
His contributions to zoology include vast quantities of information about the variety, structure, and behavior of animals. The analysis of the parts of living organisms, and the beginnings of the science of taxonomy. How large is the arthropod population? Zoologists estimate that the arthropod population of the world, including crustaceans, spiders, and insects, numbers about a billion million, 1,018, individuals. More than one million arthropod species have been described. With insects making up the vast majority of them. In fact, two out of every three organisms known on Earth are arthropods. And the phylum is represented in nearly all habitats of the biosphere. About 90% of all arthropods are insects, and about half of the named species of insects are beetles. What is meant by zeriscaping? A zeriscape, a landscape of low water use plants is the modern approach to gardening in areas that experience water shortages. How many bees are in a bee colony? On average, a bee colony contains from 50,000 to 70,000 bees, which produce a harvest of from 60 to 100 pounds, 27 to 45 kilograms, of honey per year. A little more than one third of the honey produced by the bees is retained in the hive to sustain the population. How far from shore do shark attacks occur? In a study of 570 shark attacks, it was found that most shark attacks occur near shore. These data are not surprising since most people who enter the water stay close to the shore. How far from shore do shark attacks occur? In a study of 570 shark attacks, it was found that most shark attacks occur near shore. These data are not surprising since most people who enter the water stay close to the shore. What is unusual about the teeth of sharks? Sharks were among the first vertebrates to develop teeth. The teeth are not set into the jaw but rather sit atop it. They are not firmly anchored and are easily lost. The teeth are arranged in 6 to 20 rows. With the ones in front doing the biting and cutting. Behind these teeth, others grow. When a tooth breaks or is worn down, a replacement moves forward. 
one shark may eventually develop and use more than 20,000 teeth in a lifetime. What is unusual about the teeth of sharks? Sharks were among the first vertebrates to develop teeth. The teeth are not set into the jaw but rather sit atop it. They are not firmly anchored and are easily lost. The teeth are arranged in 6 to 20 rows. With the ones in front doing the biting and cutting. Behind these teeth, others grow. When a tooth breaks or is worn down, a replacement moves forward. One shark may eventually develop and use more than 20,000 teeth in a lifetime. Is the whale shark a mammal or a fish? The whale shark, Rinkadon typhus, is a shark, not a whale. It is, therefore, a fish. This species name merely indicates that it is the largest of all shark species. Weighing 40,000 pounds 18,144 kilograms or more and growing to lengths of 49 feet 15 meters or more, and the largest fish species in the world. However, it is completely harmless to humans. Is the whale shark a mammal or a fish? The whale shark, Rinkadon typhus, is a shark, not a whale. It is, therefore, a fish. This species name merely indicates that it is the largest of all shark species. Weighing 40,000 pounds 18,144 kilograms or more and growing to lengths of 49 feet 15 meters or more, and the largest fish species in the world. However, it is completely harmless to humans. What general characteristics do all fishes have in common? All fishes have the following characteristics, 1, gills that extract oxygen from water. 2, an internal skeleton with a skin that surrounds the dorsal nerve cord. 3, single loop blood circulation in which the blood is pumped from the heart to the gills and then to the rest of the body before returning to the heart. 4. Nutritional deficiencies, particularly some amino acids that must be consumed and cannot be synthesized. What general characteristics do all fishes have in common? All fishes have the following characteristics, 1, gills that extract oxygen from water, 2, an internal skeleton with a skin that surrounds the dorsal nerve cord, 3, single loop blood circulation in which the blood is pumped from the heart to the gills and then to the rest of the body before returning to the heart, 4, nutritional deficiencies, particularly some amino acids that must be consumed and cannot be synthesized.
How is the age of a fish determined? One way to determine the age of a fish is by its scales, which have growth rings just as trees do. Scales have concentric bony ridges or circuli, which reflect the growth patterns of the individual fish. The portion of the scale that is embedded in the skin contains clusters of these ridges. Called annuli, each cluster marks one year's growth cycle. How is the age of a fish determined? One way to determine the age of a fish is by its scales, which have growth rings just as trees do. Scales have concentric bony ridges or circuli, which reflect the growth patterns of the individual fish. The portion of the scale that is embedded in the skin contains clusters of these ridges. Called annuli, each cluster marks one year's growth cycle. How do fishes swimming in a school change their direction simultaneously? The movement, which confuses predators, happens because fish detect pressure changes in the water. The detection system, called the lateral line, is found along each side of the fish's body. Along the line are clusters of tiny hairs inside cups filled with a jelly-like substance. If a fish becomes alarmed and turns sharply, it causes a pressure wave in the water around it. This wave pressure deforms the jelly in the lateral line of nearby fish. This moves the hairs that trigger nerves, and a signal is sent to the brain telling the fish to turn. How do fishes swimming in a school change their direction simultaneously? He movement, which confuses predators, happens because fish detect pressure changes in the water. The detection system, called the lateral line, is found along each side of the fish's body. Along the line are clusters of tiny hairs inside cups filled with a jelly-like substance. If a fish becomes alarmed and turns sharply, it causes a pressure wave in the water around it. This wave pressure deforms the jelly in the lateral line of nearby fish. This moves the hairs that trigger nerves, and a signal is sent to the brain telling the fish to turn. At what speeds do fishes swim? The maximum swimming speed of a fish is somewhat determined by the shape of its body and tail and by its internal temperature. The cosmopolitan sailfish, Istiophorus platypterus, is considered to be the fastest fish species. At least for short distances, swimming at greater than 60 miles, 95 kilometers, per hour. Some American fishermen believe, however, that the bluefin tuna, Thunnus thinnus, is the fastest, but the fastest speed recorded for them so far is 43.4 miles, 69.8 kilometers per hour. 
data is extremely difficult to secure because of the practical difficulties in measuring the speeds. The yellowfin tuna, Thunnus albicares, and the waoi, Acanthocybium solandri, are also fast. Timed at 46.35 miles, 74.5 kilometers per hour and 47.88 miles, 77 kilometers per hour during 10 to 20 second sprints. Flying fish swim at more than 40 miles, over 64 kilometers per hour, dolphins at 37 miles, 60 kilometers per hour. Trout at 15 miles, 24 kilometers per hour, and Blenny at 5 miles, 8 kilometers per hour. Humans can swim 5.19 miles, 8.3 kilometers per hour. At what speeds do fishes swim? The maximum swimming speed of a fish is somewhat determined by the shape of its body and tail and by its internal temperature. The cosmopolitan sailfish, Istiophorus platypterus, is considered to be the fastest fish species. At least for short distances, swimming at greater than 60 miles, 95 kilometers, per hour. Some American fishermen believe, however, that the bluefin tuna, Thunnus thinnus, is the fastest, but the fastest speed recorded for them so far is 43.4 miles, 69.8 kilometers, per hour. Data is extremely difficult to secure because of the practical difficulties in measuring the speeds. The yellowfin tuna, Thunnus albicares, and the waoi, Acanthocybium solandri, are also fast. Timed at 46.35 miles, 74.5 kilometers per hour and 47.88 miles, 77 kilometers per hour during 10 to 20 second sprints. Flying fish swim at more than 40 miles, over 64 kilometers per hour, dolphins at 37 miles, 60 kilometers per hour, trout at 15 miles, 24 kilometers per hour, and blenny at 5 miles, 8 kilometers per hour. Humans can swim 5.19 miles, 8.3 kilometers per hour. How much electricity does an electric eel generate? An electric eel, Electrophorus electricus, has current producing organs made up of electric plates on both sides of its vertebral column running almost its entire body length. The charge on the average of 350 volts. But as great as 550 volts is released by the central nervous system. The shock consists of 4 to 8 separate charges. Which last only 2 to 3 thousandths of a second each. These shocks, used as a defense mechanism can be repeated up to 150 times per hour without any visible fatigue to the eel. The most powerful electric eel, found in the rivers of Brazil, Colombia, Venezuela, and Peru, produces a shock of 400 to 650 volts.
How much electricity does an electric eel generate? An electric eel, Electrophorus electricus, has current producing organs made up of electric plates on both sides of its vertebral column running almost its entire body length. The charge on the average of 350 volts. But as great as 550 volts is released by the central nervous system. The shock consists of 4 to 8 separate charges. Which last only 2 to 3 thousandths of a second each. These shocks, used as a defense mechanism, can be repeated up to 150 times per hour without any visible fatigue to the eel. The most powerful electric eel, found in the rivers of Brazil, Colombia, Venezuela, and Peru, produces a shock of 400 to 650 volts. What does the word amphibian mean? The word amphibian, from the Greek term amphibia, means both lives and refers to the animal's double life on land and in water. The usual life cycle of amphibians begins with eggs laid in water which develop into aquatic larvae with external gills, in a development that recapitulates its evolution. The fish-like larva develops lungs and limbs and becomes an adult. What does the word amphibian mean? The word amphibian, from the Greek term amphibia, means both lives and refers to the animal's double life on land and in water. The usual life cycle of amphibians begins with eggs laid in water, which develop into aquatic larvae with external gills, in a development that recapitulates its evolution. The fish-like larva develops lungs and limbs and becomes an adult. What is the difference between a reptile and an amphibian? Reptiles are clad in scales, shields, or plates, and their toes have claws. Amphibians have moist, glandular skins, and their toes lack claws. Reptile eggs have a thick, hard, or parchment-like shell that protects the developing embryo from moisture loss, even on dry land. The eggs of amphibians lack this protective outer covering and are always laid in water or in damp places. Young reptiles are miniature replicas of their parents in general appearance if not always in coloration and pattern. Juvenile amphibians pass through a larval, usually aquatic, stage before they metamorphose change in form and structure, into the adult form. Reptiles include alligators, crocodiles, turtles, and snakes. Amphibians include salamanders, toads, and frogs.
What is the difference between a reptile and an amphibian? Reptiles are clad in scales, shields, or plates, and their toes have claws. Amphibians have moist, glandular skins, and their toes lack claws. Reptile eggs have a thick, hard, or parchment-like shell that protects the developing embryo from moisture loss, even on dry land. The eggs of amphibians lack this protective outer covering and are always laid in water or in damp places. Young reptiles are miniature replicas of their parents in general appearance if not always in coloration and pattern. Juvenile amphibians pass through a larval, usually aquatic stage before they metamorphose change in form and structure, into the adult form. Reptiles include alligators, crocodiles, turtles, and snakes. Amphibians include salamanders, toads, and frogs. What features of reptiles enabled them to become true land vertebrates? Legs were arranged to support the body's weight more effectively than in amphibians. Allowing reptile bodies to be larger and to run. Reptilian lungs were more developed with a greatly increased surface area for gas exchange than the sac-like lungs of amphibians. The three-chambered heart of reptiles was more efficient than the three-chambered amphibian heart. In addition, the skin was covered with hard, dry scales to minimize water loss. However, the most important evolutionary adaptation was the amniotic egg in which an embryo could survive and develop on land. The eggs were surrounded by a protective shell that prevented the developing embryo from drying out. What features of reptiles enabled them to become true land vertebrates? Legs were arranged to support the body's weight more effectively than in amphibians. Allowing reptile bodies to be larger and to run. Reptilian lungs were more developed with a greatly increased surface area for gas exchange than the sac-like lungs of amphibians. The three-chambered heart of reptiles was more efficient than the three-chambered amphibian heart. In addition, the skin was covered with hard, dry scales to minimize water loss. However, the most important evolutionary adaptation was the amniotic egg. In which an embryo could survive and develop on land. The eggs were surrounded by a protective shell that prevented the developing embryo from drying out. What groups of reptiles are living today? The three orders of reptiles that are alive today are 1. Chelonia which includes turtles, terrapins, and tortoises, 2. Squamata, which includes lizards and snakes, and 3. Crocodilia, which includes crocodiles and alligators.
What groups of reptiles are living today? The three orders of reptiles that are alive today are, 1, Chelonia, which includes turtles, terrapins, and tortoises, 2, Squamata, which includes lizards and snakes, and 3, Crocodilia, which includes crocodiles and alligators. Is the whale shark a mammal or a fish? The whale shark, Rhynchodon typhus, is a shark, not a whale. It is, therefore, a fish. This species name merely indicates that it is the largest of all shark species. Weighing 40,000 pounds 18,144 kilograms or more and growing. To lengths of 49 feet 15 meters or more, and the largest fish species in the world. However, it is completely harmless to humans. How is the age of a fish determined? One way to determine the age of a fish is by its scales, which have growth rings just as trees do. Scales have concentric bony ridges or circuli, which reflect the growth patterns of the individual fish. The portion of the scale that is embedded in the skin contains clusters of these ridges. Called annuli, each cluster marks one year's growth cycle. Do animals have color vision? Most reptiles and birds appear to have a well-developed color sense. Most mammals, however, are colorblind. Apes and monkeys have the ability to tell colors apart. Dogs can distinguish shades of gray and see various shades of blue. Cats seem to be able to distinguish between greens and blues. Which insect has the best sense of smell? Giant male silk moths may have the best sense of smell in the world. They can smell a female's perfume nearly 7 miles, 11 kilometers, away. Are there any natural predators of gypsy moth caterpillars? About 45 kinds of birds, squirrels, chipmunks, and white-footed mice eat this serious insect pest. Among the 13 imported natural enemies of the moth, two flies, Compis luricincinata, Attachnid fly, and Sternius cutellata, parasitize the caterpillar. Other parasites and various wasps have also been tried as controls. As well as spraying and male sterilization. Which animal has the longest gestation period?
the animal with the longest gestation period is not a mammal. It is the viviparous amphibian the alpine black salamander, which can have a gestation period of up to 38 months at altitudes above 4,600 feet, 1,402 meters, in the Swiss Alps. It bears two fully metamorphosed young. What is the most popular state insect? The honeybee is by far the most popular state insect, having been selected by 17 states, Arkansas, Georgia, Kansas, Louisiana, Maine, Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, New Jersey, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Dakota, Utah, nicknamed the Beehive State, Tennessee, Vermont, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. What is the most successful and diverse group of terrestrial vertebrates? Birds, members of the class Aves, are the most successful of all terrestrial vertebrates. There are 28 orders of living birds with almost 10,000 species distributed over almost the entire Earth. The success of birds is basically due to the development of the feather. Who introduced the gypsy moth into the United States? In 1869, Professor Leopold Trevelyan. 1827 to 1895, brought gypsy moth egg masses from France to Medford, Massachusetts. His intention was to breed the gypsy moth, Porthetria dispar. With the silkworm to overcome a wilt disease of the silkworm. He placed the egg masses on a window ledge, and evidently the wind blew them away. About 10 years later these caterpillars were numerous on trees in that vicinity. And in 20 years, trees in eastern Massachusetts were being defoliated. In 1911, a contaminated plant shipment from Holland also introduced the gypsy moth to Massachusetts. Gypsy moths are now found throughout the entire northeastern United States and portions of Virginia. North Carolina, Ohio, and Michigan. The gypsy moth lays its eggs on the leaves of oaks, birches, maples, and other hardwood trees. When the yellow hairy caterpillars hatch from the eggs, they devour the leaves in such quantities that the tree becomes temporarily defoliated. Sometimes this causes the tree to die. The caterpillars grow from 0.5 inch, 3 millimeters, to about 2 inches, 5.1 centimeters. Before they spin a pupa, in which they will metamorphose into adult moths. What features of reptiles enabled them to become true land vertebrates? Legs were arranged to support the body's weight more effectively than in amphibians. Allowing reptile bodies to be larger and to run. Reptilian lungs were more developed with a greatly increased. 
surface area for gas exchange than the sac-like lungs of amphibians. The three-chambered heart of reptiles was more efficient than the three-chambered amphibian heart. In addition, the skin was covered with hard, dry scales to minimize water loss. However, the most important evolutionary adaptation was the amniotic egg. In which an embryo could survive and develop on land. The eggs were surrounded by a protective shell that prevented the developing embryo from drying out. How far from shore do shark attacks occur? In a study of 570 shark attacks, it was found that most shark attacks occur near shore. These data are not surprising since most people who enter the water stay close to the shore. What is a bug, biologically speaking? The biological meaning of the word bug is significantly more restrictive than in common usage. People often refer to all insects as bugs, even using the word to include such organisms as bacteria and viruses as well as glitches in computer programs. In the strictest biological sense, a bug is a member of the order Hemiptera, also called true bugs. Members of Hemiptera include bed bugs, squash bugs, clinch bugs, stink bugs, and water striders. What is the most destructive insect in the world? The most destructive insect is the desert locust, Schistosura gregaria. The locust of the Bible, whose habitat ranges from the dry and semi-arid regions of Africa and the Middle East, through Pakistan and northern India. This shorthorn grasshopper can eat its own weight in food a day and during long migratory flights a large swarm can consume 20,000 tons 18,144,000 kilograms of grain and vegetation a day at what speeds do fishes swim The maximum swimming speed of a fish is somewhat determined by the shape of its body and tail and by its internal temperature. The cosmopolitan sailfish, Istiophorus platypterus, is considered to be the fastest fish species. At least for short distances, swimming at greater than 60 miles, 95 kilometers, per hour. Some American fishermen believe, however, that the bluefin tuna, Thunnus thinnus, is the fastest, but the fastest speed recorded for them so far is 43.4 miles, 69.8 kilometers, per hour. Data is extremely difficult to secure because of the practical difficulties in measuring the speeds. The yellowfin tuna, Thunnus albicares, and the Waoi, Acanthocybium solandri, are also fast. Timed at 46.35 miles, 74.5 kilometers, 
per hour and 47.88 miles, 77 kilometers per hour during 10 to 20 second sprints. Flying fish swim at more than 40 miles, over 64 kilometers per hour, dolphins at 37 miles, 60 kilometers per hour, trout at 15 miles, 24 kilometers per hour, and blenny at 5 miles, 8 kilometers per hour. Humans can swim 5.19 miles, 8.3 kilometers per hour. Can animals regenerate parts of their bodies? Regeneration does occur in some animals, however. It progressively declines the more complex the animal species becomes. Among primitive invertebrates, lacking a backbone, regeneration frequently occurs. For example, a planarium, flatworm, can split symmetrically, each part becoming a clone of the other. In higher invertebrates regeneration occurs in echinoderms. Such as starfish, and arthropods, such as insects and crustaceans. Regeneration of appendages, limbs, wings, and antennae, occurs in insects, such as cockroaches, fruit flies, and locusts, and in crustaceans, such as lobsters, crabs, and crayfish. For example, regeneration of the crayfish's missing claw occurs at its next mold. Shedding of its hard cuticle exterior shell slash skin for the growing and the subsequent hardening of a new cuticle exterior. However, sometimes the regenerated claw does not achieve the same size of the missing claw. But after every mold, occurring two to three times a year, it grows and will eventually become nearly as large as the original claw. On a very limited basis, some amphibians and reptiles can replace a lost leg or tail. The venom of the brown recluse is hemolytic and causes do male mosquitoes bite humans? No. Male mosquitoes live on plant juices, sugary saps, and liquids arising from decomposition. They do not have a biting mouth that can penetrate human skin as female mosquitoes do. In some species the females, who lay as many as 200 eggs, need blood to lay their eggs. These are the species that bite humans and other animals. How much electricity does an electric eel generate? An electric eel, Electrophorus electricus, has current producing organs made up of electric plates on both sides of its vertebral column running almost its entire body length. The charge on the average of 350 volts. But as great as 550 volts is released by the central nervous system. The shock consists of 4 to 8 separate charges which last only two to three thousandths of a second each. These shocks, used as a defense mechanism, 
can be repeated up to 150 times per hour without any visible fatigue to the eel. The most powerful electric eel, found in the rivers of Brazil. Colombia, Venezuela, and Peru, produces a shock of 400 to 650 volts. Which is stronger steel or the silk from a spider's web? Spider silk is stronger. Well known for its strength and elasticity, the strongest spider silk has tensile strength. Second only to fused quartz fibers and five times greater than that of steel of equivalent weight. Tensile strength is the longitudinal stress that a substance can bear without tearing apart.